we must persist in helping those in need. Not with a handout, but with a hand up. And while we begin to see economic growth, we must be ever mindful that we are still recovering from the effects of a devastating recession. Now, with the amendment that this legislature passed of $1 million to the 2017 capital plan for a youth services center, children and young people will have access to educational, health, and athletic opportunities that they might not, might not otherwise have. They will learn important life lessons that will help them to grow into responsible and productive adults and citizens. In the coming year, we will lead an effort in collaborating with the Reorganized County Youth Coordinating Council, nonprofits, and others in the community and legislators in this room to develop a course of action that will properly provide programs and activities to the youth of our, youth of our communities. Drug abuse in this county is a real threat to our community. We need to combat addiction, especially heroin. It is killing too many of our young men and women, destroying families and overwhelming our criminal justice system and our public health system. As a former police officer, I know the hardship that occurs for the men and women who protect and serve our communities. It is the chief function of government to protect its citizens for, for, to protect its citizens and their property from crime. Now we have an obligation to make sure that law enforcement agencies have the resources to keep our families and homes safe. Only then will residents and businesses want to make places like our city of Poughkeepsie, the county seat, a place where they want to live, work, and visit. Now lastly, we need to, and we're gonna to continue to advocate for mandate relief. Now while forced to comply with a 2% property tax cap and with an unfilled promise of mandate relief by the state, we still have shown our ability to operate in a prudent fiscal manner while providing the core programs and services that our county residents deserve. We know and understand our constituents, their needs, and how to properly administer these programs and services. That is the very essence of local government. And if the state is so adamant about a particular program and its necessity, then they should administer it and they should pay for it. Now, we ask the state to allow us the authority to carry out these programs ourselves without their oversight. My hope is our new state delegation understands that and will not introduce, sponsor, or support any new unfunded or unfunded mandate. 